Hello, do-it-yourself enthusiast. Um, I am creating this video as a supplement to many good quality videos that are out there of how to install a pedestal sink. I would encourage you, go watch them all. There's a lot of good stuff out there. But even though I watched those videos, there's just some things they don't tell the non-plumber to think about before you go to the hardware store. So think of this as a supplemental video of things to think about so you avoid the three and four trips to the hardware store like I've done. And I've done a lot of projects, so I really studied it and thought I had all the information I needed. I took pictures before I went to the hardware store and I still find myself going there two and three times. So here is the current, th this was the old pedestal. We're getting rid of that one, we're gonna retire it and we're replacing it with this one. And I was in the middle of doing this and I thought, you know what, I ought to take time out, create a short video, help some folks out there who are doing this and to maybe save them a trip or two to the to the hardware store. So anyway, um, actually removal was pretty straightforward. There's this metal, um, kind of a metal bracket that attached to the wall. And you can see we got some beadboard in here. And it actually attaches right back in here. And that's really what provides the support for the sink once it's up against the wall. And so um, pretty much when I got that done, you remove the pipes in the back, you got your, you got your, you know, your water, your, your hot and cold coming in. And uh, all that was pretty straightforward getting it out of there. Now here I am getting ready to install the new sink, but all of a sudden I ran into a few problems. And those are what I wanted to tell you about. First thing off, when you actually go from your incoming water up underneath the sink to the actual faucet, well the one thing is study the faucet before you go to the hardware store because Ours happens to be, I think you would maybe pronounce it Moen, it's M-O-E-N, but there's Delta, there's all kinds of different faucets, and they all work just a little bit differently. And so when I was going to get new water lines, and I'll throw this down here on the floor so you can kind of take a look at it, well, it turns out when you're at the hardware store, those come in 16 inch, 20 inch, 24 inch, and on up the line, usually in four inch segments. Well, that's one thing I forgot to check was, well, how long is it from the top here up to attach to the sink? And so at the time I thought, eh, it's probably about two feet, so I just bought a 24 inch pipe. Well, these things are a little flexible, but they're not super flexible. You know, you, 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 you don't want to jam them in the plus pedestal, you don't want them all sticking out the side looking nasty and everything. So anyway, um, I learned my lesson that 24 inches was too long. Now, the next time I was there, I asked my wife, I was at the hardware store doing some other stuff, and I said, hey, how long is it from here up there and she measured 14 and a half inches. I thought, great, 16 inches, it'll be close, but you got an inch and a half to play with, that ought to work. And they'll be right taut and everything, they'll be nice and clean behind the pedestal. Well, it turns out, <laughs> I should have followed the advice at the hardware store, they were talking about how to pick water lines. Measure your distance, whatever that is, and add four inches. So in my case, 14 and a half inches, add four inches is 18 and a half, well, the next closest thing's a 20 incher. That's exactly what I needed. So that's one tip. The other thing I ran into is when you actually have your elbow, we were switching over, you can see it's brass here. We're gonna switch over to a chrome look as we update. Um, I started to run you know, the elbow and I'll actually get down here on the floor so you can kind of see what was going on. And the elbow would come in here and then it would attach to this gray downpipe, which actually came with the sink. And then the idea is um, you actually are able to take this ring, put it up over the pipe. There's actually a gasket that goes down in there. And then as you put the pipe up, you would actually thread it right on. This will actually go right down in the pipe like that. And then you would thread it down there and it creates kind of a friction fit. And you notice actually on the elbow, see how there's a, uh, uh, a relief here? There's Maybe you can see that. Um, you actually want to make sure that pipe goes all the way down in there as you create that friction fit so it gets a nice, nice tight sit. Um, well, it turns out when I put mine in there, and you can actually see it if I hold it up here, it doesn't quite fit. Now I can slide the sink in closer, but you can see it's going to be about an inch or two off. And uh, that's a real bummer. So I said, well, what am I going to do? So I actually took the gray down pipe to the hardware store with me, and I said, hey, how can I extend this thing? And what they ended up proposing, which I thought was a reasonable idea, is you can buy um, for for just, I don't know, a buck or two. It's it's a it's called a tailpipe, but it's basically one of these without this, this back um, um, 
without this back threaded part, which actually controls the valve in the sink, so, or the plunger in the sink, so it goes up and down or whatever. Well, anyway, what they said is just buy this, and you can see, I'm just gonna drop that thing on there. Now, this pipe was longer, and it came down about here, and I'm just gonna cut it off. Now, this thing will friction fit on there just fine. Then, I'll be able to stick my, stick this in the pipe like so, and you can see, I'm gonna be able to, to thread it on there nicely. So that was the way I extended that downpipe. So this would be another point I would recommend before you go to the hardware store is actually, they in, in all the do-it-yourself videos, they tell you to, you know, put all the sink together, put the faucet on everything else before you ever bring it back here in the bathroom. I did all that. I'd absolutely recommend that's the way to do that, save your back and climbing around and fighting with stuff down here. But I should have actually brought it in here, set it up and try to hook all this stuff together. Um, you know, and that's when I would have realized, hey, this isn't gonna fit again before you go to the hardware store. So it's just another point to think about. Um, the other thing, uh, again, I'm not a plumber, but I'll just mention it is, when you go to um, go to the hardware store, make sure and get some plumber putty. And you actually, before you put this in, you know, it's just like Play-Doh, you roll it up real thin, squeeze it around the edge, and as you push this thing in, you know, it's gonna squeeze out the, the Play-Doh part, and then you just scrape that off and clean it up. I think they actually show you that in some of the other videos, um, but that's just one thing to think about. And then another thing is I grabbed some uh, plumber's tape, and you can see up in here, uh, where I've got that gray tape in there, you know, just to make those threads that much more uh, uh, waterproof and avoid any dripping and leaks and stuff like that. So that's another thing you want to get at the hardware store. Um, and then for, for this a pipe, all it really does is just slide right in the wall. There's not uh, much to it. It kind of surprises me, but you just shove that in there. So you have some room to play with about how far that's going to come in and come out based upon pushing your, your pedestal back up against the wall and, and hooking all that together. So. Um, Anyway, hopefully a few of these comments will save you a trip or two to the hardware store. And um, uh, if, if this video has been helpful to you, then go ahead and give me a like. And, and if, you, if there's something I could have done better, certainly give us a comment. Oh, actually, before I close, there's one other thing I'm going to do. You can see in this particular case, um, this came with the pedestal itself. But these are going to actually get attached to the wall. And they're going to be um, like that, that metal lip that was on the old one to, to hold the sink up. The worry I have on that is... Um, there's only about a 10 inch span, and I actually measured this from here to here. There's only about 10 inches. And so I'm hoping, luck will have it, that there'll be a stud in that range. It's very possible that there's no stud in that 10 inch range because they're gonna be 16 on center. Um, and then I'll have to think about what to do about making sure that's secure. Now this is, you got beadboard, so it's a little more substantial than, um, you know, the drywall and using a molly or something like that. but. Um, this also isn't, you know, I'm not too worried about somebody grabbing the sink and pulling it off the wall either. So I don't know how secure you need to be, but just something else to think about as you're securing that to the wall and uh, making all this work for you. And here's some of the tape. I'm not necessarily advertising these guys, but it was just some tape that I got um, to actually make all your threaded um, threads, you know, tight and waterproof is another thing to, real cheap to, to do and it's an extra insurance policy. So anyway, hopefully this has been helpful to you and we'll talk to you later.